For your journey in life, you need direction from the master. Get set, for the word you're about to hear is a roadmap out of every challenge into newness of life. Now, Apostle Jotan Bobai Adams. Proverbs 29, verse 18. As a culture, we always have a theme for the month. Most of the time, God directs us in areas we look at. Praise God. And then areas we focus on in the month. Now, this is the month of February in the year 2021. Hallelujah. Proverbs 28, verse 19. In this month of February, we will the theme vision. Vision. Hallelujah. Vision for greatness, vision for destiny, vision for anything, but summarily is vision. Proverbs 29 verse 18. The King James translation is the best translation for that scripture. When you look at the other, other scriptures, hallelujah, sorry the, the, the guys to project me are not here, so we just have to read manually, so we have to be fast today, praise the Lord. Proverbs 29 verse 18. Hallelujah. Other translation will say where there is no law, the people perish, but the King James actually is a correct Hebrew translation for that. Hallelujah. Proverbs 29 verse 18. Are we there? Yes. We have no vision. The people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. It's a proper Is that not right? Where there is no vision, the people perish. That's a guaranteed of perishing. Hallelujah. Vision for our life, vision for our destiny. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Joel, Joel. Junior. Joel 28. Joel 2, 28. Yes, ma. That I will pour out my spirit. Upon it shall all come flesh. to pass that God will pour out his spirit on all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Hallelujah. Sons and daughters. Please, I want you to listen to that scripture. Sons and daughters are the ones that will prophesy. Yes. The old men shall dream dreams. Old men will dream dreams. The young men shall see visions. Who are those that will be seeing visions? Young men. Come on, who are those that will be seeing visions? Young men. You know, reading the scriptures, you can see that. Reading the scriptures just reminded me of, I was listening to Bishop, Archbishop Benson in the house at one time he was preaching. He said that in his church, he was preaching. The elders used to sit in front and he used to wonder, some of them would sleep, and their eyeglass would fall off and then with their Bible right in front of him. So he used to be concerned. You know, Archbishop, Bessie, that was, you, know, you know him, right? So he used to be, why are these elders always sleeping? Is the word up? He said, then you remember the Bible says that all men will be dreaming dreams. So they are permitted to be dreaming. So he, from that day he was wrestling. He was, hallelujah. So maybe they are having dreams. So let them continue dreaming while he preached to the young, to the young people. But the focus is young people will what? See visions. There are things that when you preach to young, to old and Old people they will get angry because pull it. There are things that when you preach to somebody that is 60 years old, he will, will be angry with you because he wish he had these kind of things early. I was listening to um, Bro Billy Akani preaching young and yielded or oh, a message for the young battle for the young. He said after the message, some people made them and said that we have made our message. We wish somebody met us 20 years ago to tell us what you are telling us now. But now that you are young. Hallelujah. All of us, nobody's up to 40. I don't need to even look at the realm of the civil. Visibly, all of us, none of us is up to 40, right? So, we are young. And the Bible says, young men shall have what? Visions. Young men shall have visions. Say with me, I will have visions. I have a vision for my life. Everything happening in your life now is not as important as, it's very, very important, Hallelujah. Anything happen in your life now? If you are broke, if you are, if you don't have money, if you are being, if you are suffering from a particular problem, it's very, very important you focus on it. But where you are going and your insight into the future is very, very important. Hallelujah! So please, I want us to focus. We have a lot to look at, and I know your life will be transformed if you hear what I said and apply it. Just restart the system. If you hear what I said and apply it, your life will not be the same. So, what is vision? Vision is insight into God's plans. And purposes for your life. Visions is when you have insight. That means you now grasp, you have an understanding of God's plans and purposes for your life. 
when your eyes are opened to his plans and his purposes for your life. You are not just a waste. You are not just a product of a one night stand. Hallelujah. It was not because your father felt good that you are born. No. God has a purpose and a vision for your life. And when you have an insight and an understanding of it, that is called vision. Hallelujah. Even if you are 35 in your family, none of you is a mistake. I would get that. Even if you are what? 35. Even if you are born out of wedlock. Your father, I have my, my, my very good friends in secondary school. The parent already told him you are a mistake because they have given birth to the last born and 12 years later, he was born. So they told him that we didn't plan you. Hallelujah. As far as the parents are concerned, they didn't plan him. But he is not a mystic. I would say that. So no matter what happened in your life, in your conception, in your life, or whatever is happening, you may be thinking the village you are born to is a mystic. Why would I be born in Kogis? Why would I be born in the north? Why would I be born where? Everything about your life is calculated. So when you have the inside about it, it's called vision. Number two, divination. I'll give you five divinations. Visions are dreams. Visions are your desires. Visions are your aspirations. Hallelujah. Visions are what? Your dreams, your desires, your aspirations. It is amazing when you, you know, we did an exercise with some of the people that were around last year and then said, what do you want to become in your life? You'll be, you'll be shocked that one out of ten coppers don't know what they want to do with their lives. And you'll be shocked one of, out of fifty or hundred, you don't really know. What, what is your visions? What are your dreams? It be as it be, anything that happened. That's the truth. Many people don't have dreams. What, when, what, where they intend to see themselves in the future. Aspirations. Hallelujah. Even to become a local government chairman is an aspiration. Is that not true? Many people don't have dreams. They don't have things they desire for their life. So, if you ever have one, it's what we call vision. And I believe every one of us, before the end of tonight's service, you will have a dream for your life in case you don't have. You have a desire. You have an aspiration. Hallelujah. Number three. Vision is a mental picture of your desirable future. Mental picture. Mental picture of your desirable future. Or the result of the or the result you desire to achieve. In your mind. Hallelujah. <laughs> what kind of car do you want to be riding by now? In your mind, in your mind, like what kind of car will you be riding when you are 45? In your mind, what kind of house do you intend to be living in? In your mind, what kind of marriage do you intend to have? Do you have those kind of pictures at all? Do you have pictures of the, the way you want to look when you are 45? Where, the way you should be dressing? Or will you be wearing an Ankara for the rest of your life? What are your visions? Are we together? What are, what are the mental pictures? Sometimes when I think, eh, when I, if, if they can put my picture on the screen... You will you shout, hallelujah. Wild picture, hallelujah. Wild dreams. I have a picture of myself one day standing and then every, Dr. Paul and they say that he always wanted to have a stadium like church, like a child. He said he wanted to be in a stadium one day and say, everybody let's go now and eat and worship God. That has been his dream. He wants to have people in hundreds of thousands so that his aim is everybody go on his list. That is his dream. He has always had that as a vision. Has it happened? His church is bigger than the National Stadium of Nigeria. Are you aware? B National Stadium of the country, that church is bigger. He had that picture always painting it. How do you get that? Mental picture. He has always seen the mammoth crowd go. And the inaugural service overflows was like almost two times the people that were inside. Nation watched it had a program this January back to back, filled up, and people were still outside. If you had never thought about it, I was reading the story of Bessie Ida, I know um, Bishop Oedepo, when he was telling his wife, when he was still riding his wagon, when there were still 22 members. Was telling how we would build a 50,000 seater capacity church. When he said that the biggest church in the whole world was Reda Bonke in his crusade, it was not even a church, it was camps. And then the biggest church in Nigeria was Archbishop Benson, there was a 4,000 seater capacity. He had never seen it anywhere, but in his mind, I'm going to build a church that will seat 50,000 people. It's not architectural. How can you roof 50,000 seater capacity? But he had always had it in his mind. 
He has always painted it. Are we together? So he always has a mental picture. So what is the mental picture of your life? Is your vision. Are we together? So what are you thinking? I was always thinking about having to get married on time. I had always wanted. I remember JS2. JS2. What did I say? JSS2. People were doing siesta. I did a boarding school. I was, if you take me to my school now, I can take you to the class, the center. People were sleeping in the house and during siesta I escaped. And I was in the class. I knelt down. I can remember that day like yesterday. It was not as if somebody told me or no. I don't know why. I said, Lord, I want to marry early. I want to marry early. See, my, I'm not cheating. Let my wife not be cheating. I am not this. Let my wife not be this. I'm not this. Let my, I'm, I'm telling you, just too, I cannot forget that day. Hallelujah. And my wife was not cheating. I, I, I married her the way God made her. Hallelujah. Yes. Because I always wanted to have a beautiful what to have a good a god fearing wife that be my mental picture to marry early because i read in my bible the bible said the wife of your youth not wife of old age wife of what your youth so i've always had a picture of marrying early when i read that the point that married at 26 bishop at 25 rea born came married at 19 or 20 kennedy again married at 19 when i read this kind of picture i've always wanted it i will get her Left to me, I would have married four years ago. Yes. Yes, because if it's never in your mind, it will never happen. I've always had a mental, I had a mental picture of the kind of money I'll be controlling. I would get that. So the kind of mental picture of your desirable future is your vision. Number four, your vision is knowing who you are, where you are going, and what will guide you to your destiny, on your journey. This is where I am now. Pastoring this audience, this congregation, and many that are not here. I am going somewhere where we will have branches and take over this city and any city that God has put us all together to the best of our capacity. We have vision of having crusade truck. Anytime I see the truck of Reabonge, anytime I see the truck of Bishop Doug, anytime I see crusade trucks, I always have it in my mind. Anytime I see somebody casting out demons and people rolling in crusade, that has been my passion. Anytime I see the move of the spirit, souls getting saved in numbers, it has been my dream. That is where I am going to. I will get up. And then the journey to go there. And finally, visions are, visions are, or is your painted picture. The picture you paint. Hallelujah. I read one secular book one time. The guy was not a Christian, but he said that one day he was in his new apartment. And then he was unpacking their box. You know why they when they pack it, they are not like us, they bring pick up. They pack their things in boxes. All together. So he said he was unpacking the box. He said he saw a picture. No, the child saw the picture. He said, Daddy, you see this house? Looking like our house. Then the child brought it out. And when the dad saw the picture of the house, he started crying. He said, When he was 16 years, I wanted to live in this house. And amazingly, the house they were in currently was exactly like that. He has a mental painted picture. Are we together? So what are your paintings? How do you paint your life? If you give you a pen, how? What is the painting of your life? Do you paint your life to be colorful in the future or will you live forever begging? Hallelujah. Will you forever be stranded? Where you are now is not the problem. Is the future. Is it possible? Are we together? Is it possible? Now I want to